Hi, I'm Brianna. And I'm Akira. And you're watching Dante's, Dante's Boxing Nation. Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? So just like clockwork, Edislani Lara, he continues to win and he continues to call out Gennady Golovkin and Canelo Alvarez. It has finally gotten to the point to where there are no more excuses. Team Golovkin, boxing fans, no one can make any more excuses for why Golovkin is not taking this challenge against this Cuban champion. He just called out Golovkin last night after he knocked out Yuri Foreman in four rounds. Now, I talked about this the other day and I'm gonna say it again. There are no more excuses. If Golovkin gets past Danny Jacobs, which majority of people feel he will, he is an eight to one underdog, but that's for another video, but anyway. If Golovkin gets past Danny Jacobs, there is no other opponent at the middleweight division that is more deserving than Edis Lani Lara. I truly believe that Lara, he's more deserving than Chris Eubank, even though I would like to see that fight as well. He's even more deserving than Kurzitze, just because of the fact of seniority, the fact that Lara has been calling out Golovkin for the longest, and he continues to win over and over again. Like I said in my last video, you can't use the excuse that Lara is boring because Golovkin, he fought Willie Monroe, who has a style that is identical to, to um, Edislani Lara's style. You can't demand or use the excuse that Edislani Lara, he needs to move to middleweight first before he fights Golovkin because Kell Brook didn't have to move to middleweight first before he fought Golovkin. You can't say it's a network issue because Team Lara, they have already said they are willing to fight on HBO to fight against Gennady Golovkin. On top of that, even Golovkin's trainer himself, he never made any of those excuses. Abel Sanchez, he just flat out said they don't want to fight him. He said nobody wants to see that fight. This is what Abel Sanchez said. opponents he would have probably never faced if we're going off of that criteria so if Golovkin gets past Danny Jacobs there's no more excuses this fight would be huge it would be huge no matter what they try to say no matter how much they try to discredit uh, Edislani Lara Edislani Lara is the champion at the super welterweight division and he has a type of style that can really challenge Gennady Golovkin now, I want people to understand, once again, it doesn't matter if you think Golovkin will beat Lara or you think Lara will beat Golovkin. None of that matters. Only thing that matters is that they fight. Even like, for example, I may pick Golovkin to beat Lara, but I still want to see the fight because these are the type of fights that we need to see. Not only that, but Golovkin himself, he should want this fight. Because if Golovkin could go in there and he could do something to Edislani Lara that Canelo Alvarez or no other fighter has been able to do, which is knock out Lara, do you know how impressive that would look for Gennady Golovkin? I mean, when you listen to fans that defend Golovkin, they're still bragging about him knocking out a welterweight. So don't sit over here and tell me Oh, he would get no credit if he knocks out Edislani Lara. I'm going to tell you right now, if Golovkin were to go in there, dominate, and knock out Edislani Lara, he would get more credit than knocking out Danny Jacobs. And the reason is because Danny Jacobs has already been knocked out before. Edislani Lara has never been knocked out before. So, and once again, with the Cuban amateur pedigree, this is the reason why Golovkin doesn't want that fight. Bilar, he continues to apply pressure on Golovkin. Let's see what happens. That's all I got. I'm on to the next one.